Hello everybody and welcome back to Carbos Maybe Your Homework. Today we are heading up and then back down to Vesto. Now, where is Vesto? Vesto is the furthest planet from the Tempest system. And it is basically the Beyond Home version of Elo. It is an ice planet. It is completely covered in ice. It also has some liquid though. I don't know if it is water or not, but it definitely does have some liquids. I don't know how the fuck that thing did a fucking frog there. Unless it's fucking liquid nitrogen, which then it would be like... Bruh, Jesus. Also, whoever the fuck is typing to my messenger, shut the fuck up. I'm recording a video. I have no better priorities than I ring to you, you stupid bull hack. Whatever. So... We lift it up with this big ass fucking rocket. Also, uh, I mean, not also, but it is definitely big. But there is one problem. I put like five F1 engines, uh, KE1 engines under there, which had barely enough thrust to lift me off the ground, which resulted in less efficient uh, ascent. But whatever the fuck, I don't give a shit. We have three ascent stages. Uh, three, yeah. Yeah, ascent stages, yeah. We have three of them. And also, we have a transfer stage, which is three nuclear, nuclear engines. Good stuff, good stuff. So we already got our encounter, got our maneuver not done to encounter Vasto. But of course, I cut that part because it is boring as shit. So, yeah, we're going. We're firing those engines, that, that one engine, and then separating the other one. Of course, I put two Rhino engines there because holy shit, they're the fucking best engine for vacuum that there is. So, I don't feel like ditching them anytime soon. But of course, maneuver not being maneuver note. It messed up things, so I was like, yeah, well, let's fix them later. And for now, let's say goodbye to Rose and Lua in the background. And hey, we're saying already hi to Vasto. I say already, but this fucking travel took like about two and a half years just to get to Vasto. Keep in mind, this is the furthest planet from the... From the do Sun, aka the Tempest system. This is the first planet in the Tempest system. And it takes a lot of fucking fuel and a lot of time to get there. So yeah, we have our lander. It is gonna be an Apollo-style mission. And... Yeah, it is gonna be an Apollo-style mission. But again, there's that one per two particular problem that were pissing me off. One of them being Kerbal Swim 1.12 came out and I think there's that fucking bug that makes things everything extra wobbly. I don't like that. Even though everything is set to auto strut being set to the heaviest part which is in my experience, experience is the most stable part, uh, auto strut. Things still fucking wobble. I don't want that. Also, there was another problem, and that was that mid flight, my engine sounds just fucking cut off. My engine sound, my RCS sounds, they just cut off. I do have still the game music going on. I still have the bar separation. I still have the air, the re-entry sounds, but no engine, no RC sound. So that was like, fuck you. And yeah, I hated it. I hate that. It was an absolute, I hate that those two particular bugs are just hyperly annoying to me. They're just fucking right. Yeah. We landed on Vesto. 
an extremely fucking bright and white planet. No racism. But also, as I can see, it is a slippery fucking bitch. This is understandable because we have ice on the surface. So, yeah. But then this happens. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, wait, no, I didn't show. Never mind. The ground just glitches. Also, I didn't show any part of this thing how I got all the signs and stuff because it was a pain in my ass hairs. Literally, it took so fucking long to do these things. Also, look at the gold rays. They look fucking amazing. Yeah, oh, oh I had to cheat, obviously. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is becoming a thing now. I had to cheat because I put way too little food in this thing. I didn't think that Vesto will have such a big amount of gravity. But it did, so... Oopsies. I had to cheat... Twice, I guess. So I was talking about surface. I didn't put them because it was an extremely frustrating thing to me. Like, I was walking on a, with a curveball and they suddenly they just sucked themselves in the fucking ground, popped up, sucked back in, and they just fucking disappeared. They just fucking died. Also, when I time warp and then I go back to regular speed, the craft the lander would just maybe like boop, and then come back and just boop, 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 explode it was annoying also I guess this is because of the weird Copernicus in installs uh, and weird bullshit that is keep on happening because after I updated to 1.12 I started seeing more bugs in the mod also those are being like Trees being in midair, in up in midair. I mean, like literally a hundred meters, like a few hundreds meters above the surface. And what? Just I was just cruising with a jet when suddenly I hit a fucking tree. I was around five hundred meters above the fucking surface. There should not be 500 meters long trees. There could be. They're not on road. That was annoying. Also, I went to comb and I just saw some three trees just being midair and sideways. Like, imagine a three. That's a three. That's the ground. This thing was like a this. So, yeah, no fun. No fun there. Those are, some, those are the particular bugs, but also uh, there's... I guess it's because the updates of Copernicus and stuff, because technically Beyond Home is supported up to only 1.10. It worked with no issues in 1.11. Now it works with no ish, almost no issues in 1.12. It does work, but it has those... Just some terrain scatter problems that which just suck the soul out of me and become uh, I become like yeah. So the landing was no fun. I exploded. The second landing was no fun either because it exploded again, and then the third landing was no fun either because it exploded again. The parachutes aren't opening in time, but the fourth one. I, op I don't know how I managed that, but I opened the parachutes way earlier than I needed. <coughs> and then it was just fine. I came down to the ground peacefully and beautifully. And then this bullshit fucking happened. I could have stopped the fucking crap from rotating, which was an absolute pain again. This mission was pain. But yeah. After all, I got everything recovered and got a ton of science. So, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, punch the button, punch the button if you're new. And as always, I hope to see you next week. Until then, have an awesome week.